What's up guys, this is the Roverman and I am back to bring you the next episode of my Napoleon Total War Let's Play as Great Britain. So, to round off where we left off, we are laying siege to St. Petersburg, which, given its historical provenance, and even though it's not much of an army, we are actually going to fight. Um, we're going to fight the battle. But it's not going to take long, so I'm probably going to get a second battle in after this. So let's attack. There's no danger of this. Uh, we can re restart our offensive operations. And all of our forces are surging east. We've even got some, some armies going up to hit Sweden. Um, although due to our naval shenanigans, uh, Sweden is not able to actually cross, cross the straits to hit St. Petersburg. Okay, all my artillery up here. Drop a howitzer behind. Okay, let's form a... Let's form a strong core of infantry to advance around the right. Let's get a, a pretty elite a block of infantry to push around the left. Cavalry will join them. Daddy Hill going with the infantry block. Don't really have a plan for my artillery because I don't really think it's going to matter. Like it's at the edge of the, the edge of the battle map. It is holy and moly. Let's push these guys right the way up. That's right. My riflemen are in line. <laughs> are in the battle line with the rest of the troops. To be honest, I might just unlimber them here. The mortars, however, can push up. Come on, Roland. Move you up. Speed up time. So I'll probably do some redeployment shenanigans if they decide to stick with this. Stick with this call. To be honest, they might get charged by my cavalry. Okay, let's do this. Let's do this thematically. Let's run up our rifles. To begin to skirmish. Our infantry can join them. In the rear. I mean, it looks like they are just giving up this flank, so just do that. <laughs> Get the riflemen to walk. They are light infantry, but it doesn't mean I have to make them run everywhere. Let's speed up time. Oh, this poor little farmer's shack is getting absolutely destroyed. Although, look, I don't know if has, this actually has any hit points, but there's like some sort of weird type of fruit. Skirmishes up. Then just watch the artillery blow the crap out of them. While our rifles, including the glorious 95th, oh, the accurate rifle fires made them waver instantly. Toggle light infantry behaviour. Forming up positions. They're reforming the line. More than welcome. It's not... <laughs> Despite my love of the rifles and the riflemen and all their history, their glorious history, um, haven't really used them that much in this campaign. So I'm completely happy just to let them rack up some kills. Let's 
especially if they all look so smug. Then when they push up and start getting aggressive, my guys will fall back to the battle line. I mean, my infantry is making its way over here. My main, <laughs> my other big main infantry block. You gonna attack? How it's the shells rain down? All the divots from the cannonballs. I do love it that the game has these mechanics in it. And they're fairly simple to implement. God, that outhouse just got glance got a glancing shot off of it. It went ping off the roof. Damn right you're winning. What are you gonna do? Are you gonna do something or are you gonna stand there and bleed? Okay, let's let's pretend that the skirmishing phase has been concluded. The battle lines are coming in. God, some of my guys might be about to get raked by friendly fire. These guys are running interference for the enemy. God, let's let the battle line clear it up. They've been sufficiently weakened. Yep, yeah, immediately broke. Aggressively push around the flank. Let's get my cavalry in to fight the remaining infantry. And then the riflemen are going to be back out of it again. <laughs> Is line, just line infantry is just so damn effective. It's probably going to want to just turn off all my artillery fire. Not perfect. They've routed. Get you to attack that cavalry unit. Yeah, these poor Russian souls. These guys are just armed citizenry. The musketeer garrison units getting chewed up. Yep, yeah, you're gone. Ah, what was that? <laughs> They're in here! Get them! <laughs> oh wow, look at that. Just send the cavalry in. Like, just send everyone in like bloodhounds. They can they can continue to shoot at the armed citizenry. General's been killed. Good. There, general. The Russians are good at melee, but we've got so many troops and no real need to worry about making sure they don't um, suffer too much attrition. Go on, Kaurimman, go on the, the fabulous 15th. Our is under 
What's that from? Crossfire? Oh, of course an annoying unit came back. All my artillery just pound the hell out of them. And these guys should all die as they try to run through our lines, or at least mostly die. Chase them down. Yep, that's enough from them. Roland's not got any experience, but you know what? I think at this stage of the war, don't really need it. <laughs> oh, so that's that's St. Petersburg, the mighty Russian city, captured for 149 losses. Peacefully occupied. Good stuff. So let's get our spy. I mean, just sabotage that army. Because what else have they got to do? So Vilnius has been besieged. So if we take... Yeah. Uh, so he can't push up. Because those look pretty beast. I mean... The town is... Oh, Vilnius is the one that has a breach. I'd love them to assault it, but I think I'm going to have to take Wellesley. Go after Alexei Chesnov. Chesnov. Okay, then take Frederick Adam. Let's clear out the Vilnius pocket. Because I'm... To be honest, I'm glad they did retreat. Because in, like, in my head, I don't want Wellesley to take casualties. Because they want him to push on. Yeah, just got six pounders, so we have to be somewhat offensive. Although this is a really rather neat little feature over here. So I think that's where I want to put my battery. So my Highlanders... Including the Highlander Light Infantry are going to push around this feature. My regular foot and the King's German Legion are going to form my main battle line. And let's give the flanking effort some light and heavy cavalry, some heavy cavalry to support my battle line, my main line. General in the centre. Good. I've not really looked at where they looked at consider reinforcements and I'm in my head of thinking they should be over towards their area somewhere let's ignore that till it becomes a, a problem yeah it's coming in to their rear let's drive straight in What are you gonna? Okay, let's have a look at. Let's have a look at the cuirassiers. I mean, they do look rather good, although I'm not so sure about the, the dead eyes. <laughs> um, okay, let's push the dragoons out in front over here in case, in case they fancy getting up to some mischief. Probably same my other cavalry as well. So they've got Cossack cavalry in support. It's their dragoons. Again, they look very nice. Nice little emblem there. Mounted rifles, militia. Okay, let's speed up time because we are pushing up. They don't have that much of a way of supporting us. So we can put our cavalry back out on the flank. Because mainly concerned about preemptive charge, but I suspect we will make it there in time. 
Horse guards are a bit more problematic, but this is why we've got our own Dragoons. They'll be able to match them in, the co in combat, and the light cavalry will provide the enabling support. Speed up time again. Because the problem is they've got so much cavalry, my default response will be just to go, ah, form square. I don't like where this, don't like where this is going. Form square. So our guns, our guns there are going to be pretty good condition, pretty good position. Okay, cavalry push. Let's go into all form square. I might not even commit my cavalry to this attack because they will f their attack will fail. So our King's German Legion can just sit there and watch. They will break upon this fortress like water on rock. Although they didn't manage to do okay. And they're out of square. So run them into the shelter of the next square. Might be a bit of fratricide. Let's get these guys out of square formation because they can give fire onto the mounted rifles. There you go, this range, even a six pound, is good enough. Good, so you've broke their cavalry attack. She might stay in square. It provides support, it provides protection for the flank companies. You chaps. I have to run in to commit if you want to get involved. Okay, King's, King's German Legion get back into line. Same with these chaps. What do you mean am I trying to kill you, cheeky little sod? I'm your general. Doesn't matter if I'm trying to kill you or not, that's the whole point. Let's commit our cavalry and to go fight their cavalry. If I pivot these like this, I wonder if I'll provide the bait to get their cuirassiers in. There's just not a lot they can they can really do. Victories, huh? to be Hit the cuirassiers with, with the artillery. These poor mounted rifles. Okay, fire will on. Hit a nice volley in there. Let's turn the artillery back onto the grenadiers so we can swing our cavalry in. I mean, spin around, chaps. Like, where the hell are they going? Just something like that. Don't worry about the cavalry battle going on. Mounted rifles have actually dismounted. Push you up into the centre of this little village. Well, you know what? All of you get involved. OK, 
Okay, let's get the Highlanders in against this lifeguard unit. Let's retarget the artillery. Or we'll actually just stop firing with it at all. So we need to commit my cavalry to do stuff. All these angry Scotsmen. The infantry, don't worry about so much. Continue because they're loose on the battlefield. I mean, actually, where's the... Cavalry I don't really care about. Where's the general? Because these guys have successfully managed to chase down the lifeguard foot. It's the last guy. If they can't catch up to him, I will just... They will just halt and gun him down. Speed up time. Oh, they might not catch him. <laughs> there you go. Death by firing squad. Yeah, the other cavalry's doing good stuff. Killing. Just regular old militia. Go on, charge the musketeers, you damn fools. This unit may route. Well, it should route. Yep. So they routed for you. So everyone go after. This Dragoon unit's really struggling to kill its infantry. There's one unit that's going to route all the way to the north, but that's okay. There he is. Get him! There can be no peace while the Russians live. Good stuff. Good stuff indeed. Obviously he's taking the longest possible route. Oh no, there we go. Must have heard me. Sweet. 364 men lost. Destroyed that army. We've pushed you away. So I'm tempted to wait to see if they attack me because that would be rather fun. Agent killed. Must have killed him in the slaughter. Frederick Adam got good, some good points. Sweet. Let's put a logging camp. Everything up here is being upgraded and built. You can't move. You can't move. Let's move John Oswald up to cover the this passage south through the woods. You can't move, but I hope they don't run around. That'd be rather frustrating. This is why we have James English Hamilton. Nelson's going to go back to Croatia. Ernest Augustus to move you back to Venice in case Papal States get a bit frisky. Especially if, they, if they've been warring with someone. Or is it bankruptcy that's getting them? Yeah, it's bankruptcy. They're suffering attrition because they've got too many troops for their economy. Cool, that's it in turn. 
as our spies push up. You're almost over to Croatia. Oh, you're in Croatia. So we'll cut them off to keep an eye on the French. <laughs> assault me at Vilnius. Assault me at Vilnius. Ooh. ooh. They have run around me. They've retreated back to Smolensk. They're retreating back even more. <laughs> the Swedish armies are moving back because they have no further use. Except I'm, uh, I'm not that bothered about attacking Sweden in this campaign. Um, I've got them balled in. I've got an army just there, chilling, keeping an eye on the Portuguese. I have to say, this campaign has just highlighted how useless protectorates are. The majority of them, I'm pretty sure I've called them, well, I've called the Belgians in and the Portuguese in for sure. Julian Stark, let's get you over to a port. Let's take you, get you over here. Thomas and Masterman Hardy, you didn't really get as much of a run out as you deserved. Look at all these battles across the map. I'm pretty sure they're all wins for me. I was hoping they'd assault. That would be my preference. You need to go northwest to intercept Dimitri. You are going to take this bridge near Smolensk. You are going to drive up here and swing northeast up to Novgorod. Let's upgrade the musket menu factory. Let's get rid of these troops. Yep, you're on the march. Push up. To be honest, I might just auto resolve killing them. It's in my own territory, so I'll get some cheap resupply. Some cheap replenishment. Apart from you. God, they got they got smacked. So if they move up to secure Novgorod, that leaves Roland Hill around ready to support or to capture the northern the northern side of this river. Uh, I do one more intern on to see if see if they attack me. Because to be honest, I want to fight a defensive siege battle at the minute. I've, that's what I've got a hankering for. And I might just disband those armies because I have no purpose for them. Like no, no real need, because I'm not going for a world conquest. Go on, attack me, do it. Urgh. Good, the Smolensk garrison's building up. You're demanding my surrender? N no, good sir. Think you're gonna get an easy victory like that, huh? Afraid not, buddy. That ain't gonna fly. Oh, Crimean Carnate are actually getting involved. Considering how often they get smacked in Empire, it's, it'd be nice if they actually did something. Something a bit offensive. Okay, let's get Henry Clinton to put Smolensk. Under siege. I mean, I could push them out now, but I have a strategy. So an army's up in here, in ambush. So I am going to have to send. Where do we send Frederick Adam? One. We have to, yeah. So 
we're going to attack them. This is... Hey, Kutuzov. You're familiar. You're famous, I think. Um, but looking at the timer, that's definitely the end of this part. So, thanks for watching, guys. Hope you've enjoyed, and we'll see you next time for the relief of Vilnius. Cheers, everyone.